Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Today, I got an exciting top 100 deck for you, a little bit different than what we've been playing, so I'd call it an off-meta deck. Uh, very excited to share this with you, but before we do so, just a reminder to please feel free to support the channel down over there by subscribing, as well as liking me on Facebook. You can also follow me on Twitter and Twitch and uh, appreciate that support, but it will also help you keep up to uh, date on awesome new content we got for you guys. All right, so with that said, what is this top 100 off meta deck? We are going to look at a Jund mid range deck. So, pretty excited about this. This list is pretty interesting, heavy on the mythics, so a little craft heavy, but hey, that's what you got for me. Uh, hopefully, I can play this out for you guys and we'll see how it goes. Now, quickly as well, I want to give a quick call out to Han Horling. So, thank you, Han, for showing me this nice tip on how to uh, give you guys a different option here. Look at that, I'll, I'll pull this down and maybe we can talk talk this way. But um, anyway, here's what we got for the deck. Uh, this list is available for you down below in the description. So you'll have access to it right away. Let me know what you think of Han's uh, um, uh, point of view here about keeping the screen less cluttered. If you guys like this, I'll continue to do it going forward. But uh, thank you again for calling that out. I love learning things from you guys. Now couple things let's talk through this deck so we got black here the black is really used for the death destruction control side of the jun that we got going on here um, now what did we pick up m21 we got eliminate we also got cultivate uh, rada uh, heart of Keld. this card's great we can look at the top card of our library anytime and play land cards from the top of our library which is huge uh, we also got with M21 Chandra Heart of Fire. So I really like this card. One, uh, it gives us card advantage for three ofs. Uh, and great uh, if we don't have anything in our hand or we can need to discard kind of a deal. Um, and on top of that, there are some great best of three sideboard options. So again, you guys know me as the best of one. Uh, we will go ahead and take a look at the sideboard. Now, while I do so, I am going to move my face back up there. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and see what we got going on. We got Return to Nature, so we got a lot of options with this card. We got Destroy Target Artifact, Enchantments, or Exile from Graveyard. This is going to be perfect against uh, things like Bant. Uh, it will also be great against uh, any Yorian decks. And then also artifacts, so you could play this against Mono Red. Actually, enchantments hit uh, Annex as well, so Mono Red. Uh, you may also definitely play this against Sack decks, whether it's a Jund as well, or whether it is a uh, Rakdo Sack. Next, we got a very interesting card here, Necromentia. So what's this thing do? You can go look at your opponent's hand, graveyard, and uh, library, and exile a named card. So what do we do? We play a Simic Ramp, we call out Ugin, and bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. So that's pretty much gonna be my strategy for this card is anything at the top heavy side, you you pull this card and uh, destroy their deck. All right, next we got Ritual of Soot. So this is perfect because this is gonna be your aggro-y type uh, card to help you with your board wipes. So giving that in along with Extinction Event and some of the other things is really gonna help you control against some of those games. So things like Mono Red, Mono White, Mono Green, all the hardcore tier one uh, aggro decks right now. Next we got Questing Beast, so where'd you play this? I would actually play this against the aggro decks um, as well as the ability to run over the top, plus with the death touch is gonna be big for you. Or if you need a, just some sort of end sweeper, that uh, questing beast is always great. Next we got Shifting Ceratops. This one's pretty obvious, anything blue, I, I'd run this. Uh, this is great against Azorus Flyers. This is great against the counter decks. This would be great against the uh, Dimmer Flash decks, those kinds of things. Next we got Masker Girl. I would play this against Aggro, another board wipe card. This would be perfect for you. Uh, mono Red especially, get rid of all the annoying 1-1s. One um, those are some ideas for you there. And Sack decks. Uh, next we got Thought Distortion. So this card is great. Um, I really enjoy this card. So what does this do? One, it can't be countered. We get to reveal our uh, opponent's hand and exile online creature, non-land cards from the player's hand and graveyard. So this is a great graveyard removal card uh, if you want to get that cleaned up, but also just getting a ton of stuff out of their hand. So this is perfect against control decks, perfect against spell heavy decks, uh, things like Azorus. Uh, you could also play this against Jeskai. Um, 
and I would play this against the ramp decks as well. So, all right, there we go, there we have it, and we will go back to our normal setting here. So again, thank you, Han. Uh, and let's go and jump right to it with, uh, what do we have here? Uh, J double R two's deck. So I am gonna take this into Mythic here, um, currently 96%, I believe, so. Uh, just want to say, you know, I do plan to continue to play these decks in Mythic. I know that's some feedback you guys have given me in the past, so I will try and do that. Worried about ELO, wins, all that stuff, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it today. I am going to, before I decide and tell you what I'm going to do, just say thank you. As always, appreciate uh, your support and feedback. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel down over there. Uh, stay up to date on awesome videos and content. Additionally, feel free to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Twitch. All right. So having two of these isn't great, but we got all the lands that we need, and that's a huge problem in uh, best of one, and we got some ramps. So we'll go ahead and keep this and give it a shot. Luckily, we are on the play. I will keep that. So instead of going for the ramp, I'm actually gonna drop Rada first because this is a mono red deck, and that's exactly what we're going to need to do. So if we live through this, we'll have an Eliminate. Um, and we can get Cultivate going, which is going to be big for us. As long as our turn, we have it. I'm gonna block. They're probably gonna make them much bigger. But we do have Eliminate. And they don't get an easy, uh, easy cast through there. Get their ramp off the board. We'll do that. So this is what we need to get to. Extinctions here. We could try to see what the top card is. Alright, Clythos is helpful. So when he hits himself with Bone Crusher, the problem is if he has. If he has what I think he has. We're gonna run into an issue here. If he's got cleave, we're dead. Yeah. And that was the one reason why I was gonna wait. Eat to extinction. No bueno. Just not the right play for us here. All right, on to the next match. This is going to be a tough deck for us to play in uh, best of one. All right, what do we got here for match two? And problem was we were on the play. Um, you know, you got to keep some of those other things. I think we did the right job with the eliminates. Probably could have slow played it, like I said, and use the two extinctions. Now this is going to be a little bit better, so we'll keep this. Good news is, again, we are first here. 
And we have our lower end curve stuff. Which is going to be very important. We also have wiping material. Take that one off the board. So they most likely have some form of block or, sorry, um, some form of additional damage. But we're gonna keep her out of this time and take the light up the stage. Yeah. So this is odd. It's gonna hurt us as well. Right, getting this is going to be big for us next turn. I'm going to wait on the damage there, you guys. Not gonna hit. Because I can attack in and then wipe. Still have cleave here though. So we'll hit run away, we'll block on something else. So here it comes, here comes the cleave. If they go to the face, they're going to think they have lethal. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Because we actually have to pop Black Lance first, so that's going to hurt us. All 
right, we will be taking Odd off the board here. Not going to attack in. Got a chance with Lily here. They don't need much, though. Well, we don't have a choice. I'm gonna save the lands though. So I got plenty of land. So we can't, we can't tack in here, because if we do, he'll get two tokens. So that's what we got to be careful of here. So we have zero is even, so this is zero. This is also zero. Could have, yeah, not enough. Um, I don't need the two. Maybe I will.
Oh, we got two blockers, so we'll leave it at that. I'll save the bone crusher just in case. Well, it looks like they hit their top deck. Oh, well, maybe they did. Nope, so we'll get two more, thank you. All right, and that, my friends, is why we save Bone Crusher. So, a couple things here. I can play Kelb. First, get the land on. Want to get the ping for the life. And the land. And we'll get Crusher on. A top deck to burn. <laughs> that is a big comeback for us against Mono Red. So, first game loss, second game win. <laughs> On to our third and final match here with this Jun deck. Ooh, look at that. Chromatic Orrery. So, we made it work. Pretty exciting about that. If we can take this one down, that would be great. All right, let's see what we got. Eli Rankins. Oofta. This is not the right hand that we want to start with. Double Lily. I mean, we can get to Extinction events. We got Blacklands. Oh, it's just risky, man. I might try it, though. Just because we got the Extinction and Blacklands in there. Oh. And that's going to be worthless against a wreck deck. Just too bad. So, Expansion, Explosion, we know they got two of for a while. Let's get rid of Aether Gust for now. Well, it's all black, so that's not going to matter at this point. Let's get rid of one of these. That is unfortunate. That is bad timing. So that could help us a lot. Mm. 
That ping is going to be helpful, hopefully. If we can get this on the board, we might be okay. <clears throat> I will take this again. So you're gonna delay me one turn. Let's go green and green. We'll just do two greens. So we can eat uh, no land cards. Let's see if they got a counter this time. There it is. So this would be where I'd play things like the Triceratops here. And some of the additional uh, destruction. So let's see if we can get Lily on here. If we get Lily, we're, we're still going to be okay. I got two of them now, I guess, so that's pretty good. It's gonna go real quick, though. So we got six. Let's see if we can get away with this. You gave me the counter spell, huh? That works. We're good. It's a good top deck for us. Do I want to keep this? I think we graveyard it right now. They can take Lily off here, though. They have enough. Oh, thank you.
a fun new toy. All right, let's see what we can do there. Trying to get him to use the Aether Ghost, actually. Oh, they're gonna have enough damage direct. Ah, oh, this deck is just not made for best of one. <laughs> but fun deck nonetheless. Glad we gave it a shot. Not overcome today. I'm gonna make him play it out. And see where we go. Even the sack down wouldn't have done much for us. Um, the extinction event wouldn't have done much. You know, they had the draw, so it was an unfortunate match. We did make up against the... Uh, against the... Um, Mono Red, though. So, all right. There we have it. The fun Teamer Wreck deck there. All right. Last but not least, let's go back and take a look at this deck. And Jun Midrange, top 100 right now. So here we go again. This deck list is available for you down below, as I stated. Uh, let me know what you think. There was a lot of things in there we didn't get to see. We didn't get to see the Chandra. We didn't get to see the other Viv. We did have uh, Vraska there for a hot second. Um, we got to see Rado at Action Clythos and some of these other things. So uh, last, please feel free to subscribe to the channel down over there. Would love to see you around more. Uh, please uh, also feel free to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Twitch. I hope you guys enjoyed this top 100 Jund midrange deck. So again, we took it in for best of one. Uh, this is primarily a best of three. Played two mono red decks and a team of rec. Um, I would have put this in for Mono Red. I may have put Necromentia in for Mono Red. Uh, Ritual Suit for Mono Red. Maybe Questing Beast. Uh, Team of Wreck, I would have gone Shifting here. I also would have gone Thought Distortion and uh, Necromentia there. And I would have sideboarded out some of the stuff that would not have hit, like Extinction Event. Uh, probably maybe Kept Eliminates. Um, maybe Black Lance. It's good to get the damage on. Uh, but those kinds of things. So there you have it, Planeswalkers. Appreciate it. One and two today, not the best showing, but uh, interesting deck. Love it. So take care, and we'll see you again soon. Stay safe.